Now, we all know we're not supposed to talk to strangers, but Pod is the exception to this rule. She'll talk to anyone. Quite frankly, the stranger the better. They'll be like, what the bloody hell are they doing? <laughs> Tanning Dan! It's probably the best thing we've ever bought. Absolutely love going to the gym. I love it. And I wear like really like little pink play suits and just little shorts and little tops. Oh, when I sweat, oh god, it's a nightmare. I'm like padding it. So it like padding, that's not even a word. I like pat it so like my tan doesn't all run. And if I break out in like too big a sweat, I stop and go. <laughs> Hi girls! Like my other friends, they're all very quite natural. And then I'm just, I don't know where I came from. Like, I don't know where, why it all happened. And now it's just uncontrollable. Hey, Pod, this sassy student is going to give you a run for your money. Hello, Emily. Hi. How are you today? Very well. Very brown. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> Talk me through this false tan obsession. Well, at home, I've got this like spray tan booth. And you I have a spray tan booth at home. Booth, yes, it's rather amazing. Um, so I go in that quite a lot. So talk me through this outfit. It's very tribal and small. Yeah. I made it one time for this thing that we had at school. I bet the teachers love you. Oh, of course. They <laughs> loved it. <laughs> now, your eyelashes are dense, is the only word I can think <laughs> of. How many pairs of lashes have you got on there today? Well, technically there's six pairs. <laughs> So you've got six sets of eyelashes on. Yeah, you? I think I'm so used to it. Like, you know when I take them off, I feel bold. I'm like, what's going on? Like, I feel, like, really wide-eyed. <laughs> so why have you come from Acunda today? I don't know, just see, like, from a fresh pair of eyes what I can look like. Right, Emily, I'm going to wish you a good-looking pod now, and I'll see you a little bit paler on the other side. <laughs> I'm Pod, the personal overhaul device. Who are you? I'm Emily. <laughs> what in Pod's name are you wearing? Well, we have what was a bikini top with a bit of fur and um, some bikini bottoms and a bit of fur. I did used to have the skirt, but on a night out it got lost. I'm not surprised you lose things. You can barely keep your eyes open with all that slap on. <laughs> Do you not like it? My eyelashes? No. Pod computes, they make you look trashy. Oh, I'm quite, I'm really sophisticated, actually. Really? Yeah, especially when I wear my glasses. I do accounting, you know. There's no accounting for taste, though, is there? <laughs> Did you ever have a lovely natural look? Yeah. When you looked a bit like this? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! As if you've just done that to me. Oh, Pod! What's wrong with that? Look at it! I look like a boy. Pod computes, you look very cute. Thanks. So why the change? Um, I found fake tan. And Pod thinks the only thing that should be glowing orange is a fire. <laughs> but look how white my teeth look. Only because your face is so dirty from all that brown paint. But let's see what the general public think of your look. Oh, no. Initiate phase one, public analysis. We asked the general public, showing them a picture of you looking like this, if they would want to snog, marry or avoid you. What do you think they said? Snog. Play. I would definitely avoid this girl. She's got far too much makeup on her face for me. Oh. She does look a bit feisty and a bit tigeress looking, so that's probably why I'd snog her. <laughs> no way! Probably avoid because I don't like girls that wear uh, like leopard or anything like that, like tiger printing. It's not my type of thing, to be honest. Oh no! In fact, nobody wanted to marry you, and a whopping 90% wanted to avoid you. Okay. We also asked Radio 1 DJ Scott Mills. Play. Avoid too much leopard print and so much fake tan, it's ridiculous. And I like a fake tan. <laughs> Emily, are you ready to hear Pod's verdict? Yeah. Pod's verdict is that with your lack of clothing, lack of inhibitions and lacquered on tan, your look is barely tasteful. It's time for my totally tarty to posh totty make under. Choose a new hair colour, chocolate brown, honey blonde, ebony or auburn. <coughs> honey blonde? No, no, chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. Calm down, Emily. In order to turn you into a natural beauty, I need to scrub you clean. 
Okay. Initiate phase two, deep cleanse. In order to scrub that tide mark away, I need you to hand over those locks and lashes. No, I just take one set off. No, keep going. Oh, look what you've done to me. Look what you've done to yourself, you mean. Where did it go? On your head, Emily. Let's talk more scrubbing. Let's see those pads. Oh, Emily. <laughs> oh, pod. Are you ready for your make under? Yeah. Initiate make under in three, two, one. God. Oh my pod, I think you mean. What do you think of your hair? It's quite cool. And your outfit? I think it's a jacket. Can I take it off? <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, cheers. <laughs> um, I like the jeans. Well, shall we see what the public think of your new look? Oh, go on then. We showed the public a picture of you looking like this and asked whether they would snog, marry or avoid you. Play. I would probably marry her because uh, I think she looks really pretty. Oh. Well, you know, she looks quite uh, classy. I'd, I'd say marry. Oh. I'd definitely snog her because she has a nice smile. <laughs> We've done our sums and a whopping 80% now want to snog you. Oh. And 20% want to marry you. Oh. Here is your natural beauty data. We gave you a short, more sophisticated haircut. We used a pink base foundation to take the orange out of your skin created by excessive fake tan. We also added slim, sleek jeans worn with height to elongate the leg. So, are you happy with your look? Yeah. Maybe just little eyelashes on as well. No, Emily. No more dodgy additions for you. Pod thinks this make under has resulted in one very sophisticated figure and is therefore a success. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Goodbye. Bye. I'm really, really, really excited to see Emily. It's been years since she's not been orange, so <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be quite a shock, I think. I think they're literally going to be like, whoa. <laughs> like, I honestly don't know. If they don't like it, I'm, I will know like how they react, like whether they like it or not. I just want to go and see now. <laughs> look great, love the hair, but will she keep it up? We'll find out later. Now here on Snog, Marry, Avoid, we're always on the lookout for cheap and cheerful beauty tips, but who knew one little kitchen ingredient could be so useful? Did you know there are 101 ways to use baking powder? For example, if you, like I, have a sweaty husband and find it really tricky removing stubborn stains, you just get some baking powder, mix it with water to make a paste. Take the paste and put it onto the stains. I'm rubbing it into the sweat stains now. It shows I love my husband. Then simply take the t-shirt to the sink for a good scrub. In we go. Oh my pod! It's a miracle! It works! Earlier on we met Chelsea and Paige who were naughty twins who were obsessed with false tan, false eyelashes and lots and lots of false hair. Pod made them gorgeous natural beauties and individual. But have they kept it up? Let's meet them and find out. Hey girls! Hi Jenny! <gasps> and it's stereo! <laughs> Now, you're dressed differently today. I know. Yeah, we're... since our experience with Pod, we've actually started dressing differently, but we do try and keep some things matched. Now, do you like your new hair? We didn't like it at the start, but now we've got used to it. We actually do really like yeah, it. Yeah, we had to put the extensions back, back in, in now. Yeah, we had to buy some that matches <laughs> colour. <laughs> 
big thing for you two because you wouldn't go anywhere without your false lashes. No, we've no. stopped we've wearing... We've learned that. We've actually have got natural long eyelashes lashes, anyway. So, yeah, we don't even them need them. The false tan's toned down also. Yeah. Yep. Obviously, we still like to wear a bit to make us look a, with a bit of colour, but we've not been wearing half as much, have we? No. Has it been a big life change for you, starting to dress differently? Yeah, I think that's been the main change for us. And everyone's always just classed us as one person, and now really, actually, we are two people. Yeah, now so. we're actually getting classed as two, like, separate two people, individuals. Yeah. Which makes everybody happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, well done, Pod. Have you got a message for her? We'd just like to thank Pod for our new naturalish look. <laughs> <laughs> we absolutely love it. She's done a great job. Hooray, Pod! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Now, we all know we're not supposed to talk to strangers, but Pod is the exception to this rule. She'll talk to anyone. Quite frankly, the stranger the better. <laughs> I am Pod, the personal overhaul device. Who are you? Hiya, I'm Louis Zero. What kind of a name is Louis Zero? Oh, um, it's just a magical, interesting name for a magical, interesting person. Did you headbutt a rainbow on your way in? Yeah, I did, yeah. I think I won as well, yeah. Are you always this feisty? Possibly, yeah. It's too many uh, sweeties, isn't it, when I was little? And now you're grown up, who would be your ideal man? Buzz Lightyear, standard. Hands down, no competition. Done. It's in the bag. Isn't he 11 inches of plastic toy? That's all you need. That's all you need. It looks like you need some tips in makeup. How did you get that slap all over your face? Just splodge it on. How long does it take to splodge it on? <sighs> well, on a good day, Pod, if I'm having a lot of luck and I get the old eyebrows symmetrical, you're looking at 20 minutes. But if you have an eyebrow disaster, I've got one up here and one down here, then you're looking at an hour. Why do you look so incredibly fake? <gasps> oh, do you know what? This is naturally as good as it gets for me, I'm afraid. You don't believe you're a natural beauty under all that makeup? Oh, you cheeky monkey. No, I am not. This is, this is naturally how it goes for me. But Pod's mission is to rid the world of fakery and return it to natural beauty. Natural beauty's not for everyone, Pod. You couldn't be exciting and fun even if you were a natural beauty. What, brown hair? Yes, that would be really scary, wouldn't it? Please can you tell Pod in your own words what would happen if you were forced to be a natural beauty? I'd probably throw up in my mouth for a start. If you put me in high heel shoes, I'd be on my bum in about two seconds because I can't walk in them. And I'd just be, like, well depressed, I think. Do other people look like you? Yeah, do you know, there's a lot of rainbow disciples that follow the way of neon. I've met an army of neon people. In fact, that's you there, isn't it? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You've been busted. I'll just come back. Get you. Louis Zero, you should realise by now that nothing gets past the all-seeing lens of Pod. Go, go, Gadget Pod. You are therefore rejected from my Make Under programme. Goodbye. woo <laughs> on we met the lovely Emily, a student obsessed with all things false. False tan, false hair and lots and lots of false lashes. Pod gave her a make under and made her into a gorgeous natural beauty. But as she kept it up, let's meet her and find out. Hello! Hi! Well, I am loving your hair. Thank you. Is life much easier without a mass of extensions? It is a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier. And cheaper? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I do miss them a little bit, though. I mean, the outfit today, I'm loving the outfit. Very nice and chilled. Yeah. Last time I met you, I think you were wearing some sort of fur bikini. Yeah, the tiger outfit. <laughs> it has been burned, don't worry. Has it? <laughs> it's gone. But yeah, I have put a bit more makeup on than what they gave me, and the lashes are back. Now, how many pairs of lashes have we got on today? Only two, but they're little ones. Well, Emily, I think you look absolutely lovely with the new haircut. I'm really happy that you kept it. The lashes are back, but shh, just don't tell Pod. We don't mind a lash or two. But have you got a message for her? <laughs> Thank you so much. I hated you when I met you, but I'm really glad with what you've done. Thank you. <laughs> Good job, Pod. Well, Pod, that was quite a colourful programme. You're not kidding. We had all the colours of the rainbow, and in the end, none of them were orange. Another successful day for the arts.
Yes, but I've been creating non-stop. I'm quite worn out. Well, that's quite enough creating for one day. It's time for you to pod off. <laughs>